नमस्ते जय हिंद वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ई एजुकेटर स्टार टेन सब्जेक्ट सोशल साइंस चैप्टर नंबर नाइन फॉरेस्ट एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ रिसोर्सिस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर नाइन टेक्स्ट बुक एक्सरसाइज वट इज द क्वेश्चन आर गिवन इन टेक्सट बुक्स वी आर डिस्कस हियर before writing make sure that your handwriting must be neat and clean it should be legible okay acche handwriting hone chahiye and post the videos copy down the answers in a notebook okay and if you have any queries you can send me in comments in this videos okay let's start the discussion of uh, this question answer and if you have not subscribe a channel click on subscribe button to subscribe youtube channels so whenever i upload the videos you will get notifications there another do not okay forget to okay do the good writing or good presentations in a notebook or in a supplementary or wherever you are writing there make sure that your handwriting must be neat and clean okay then let's start discussion of this exercise now look at answer the following question in detail answer in details are given here we need to answer them in detail look at what is the first question there write a detail on not on types of forests okay in a textbook that two type of forests are given on the basis of a, okay so we are going to discuss them look at number 1 here okay types of forests according to the according to administrations on what basis of a administration based for the type diye gaye forest ke uske hai look at number is one is given okay reserved forest now such forests are under the control of a government directly this forest is controlled by the for okay uh, that uh, okay government who control this kind of a forest okay this uh, reserved forest and there is a restrictions on lumbering collections of woods for pasturing these all things are banned there in this reserved forest next number protected forest yeah, these forests are looked after the administrations local people are permitted to do okay to collect the wood and to graze their animals without causing any harm to the forest some protected forest some okay uh, less restrictions comparing to reserved forest in the protected forest those local people are allowed to graze their animals to collect the woods where in the reserved forests are not allowed unclassified forests these forests are still non classified there is no restrictions so there is not restriction on tree falling felling or animal grazing tree cutting or felling may aapko wahan par okay koi restriction nahi hai animal grazing mein koi restrictions yahan par nahi hai okay now another classification of forest according to the ownership administrations and management okay so these are divided into the another category category state forest central or state government control such a forest and most of the forests of a country is fall under these category most of the in our countries it reserved forest and these okay falls under the state forest or it controlled by the state or you that union government communal community forest these local self governance institutions like gram panchayat municipalities municipal corporations district panchayat taluka panchayat have the control over such a forest the communal forest a community for community a community forest private forest as per the name of you understand the private forest such a forest is owned by individual such forests are found more in odisha meghalaya punjab and himachal pradesh some of these forests are in haphazard conditions now in no, not in good conditions now most of the trees were cut there areas was clean there or some of them are totally barren these areas totally barren okay most of these deforested areas like a number second number state the remedies for forest conservation remedies for forest conservation now look at riches should be 
which were so what steps can be taken for the okay, uh, forest conservation here so research should be carried out to find the options of a wood we need to use alternative okay use of a wood here so wherever the trees are to be cut in okay inevitably for the development of work or for necessary new trees of same spe okay species should be grown there if a you are cutting the trees whatever the species of a trees you cut so that should be grown in new leaves if you cut the five trees so grow another spe these species of a five trees so we can okay, maintain the controls now this should be a total ban for cutting trees which are not fully grown there which are not grown fully there okay those trees which are not grown fully those uh, trees should not be cut now those industries which receive the raw material from forest should be compiled for a forestation for future needs some industries the work they, they depend uh, on a forest as a raw material like a uh, paper industries are okay these are furniture industries are there so this should be compelled them it should be make a mandatory for those industry to plant uh, trees okay uh, whatever the trees they are using there now another name of ecotourism the forest cover should not be damaged now presently the eco tourism started now some forest areas even some places in the forest are de okay uh, developed for the uh, tourism the tourism industries were developed so in the name of a tourism in the name of eco tourist we should not damage the forest and it's tr okay, strictly controlled wide spread public awareness program should be organized among the local people there so we should give informations to the people uh, regarding these forest conservation now look at next number the importance of forests and their conservation strategies should be included in syllabus of school and colleges so student also can get the information about it so we should have to implement this strategy in our school and colleges syllabus like in your standards okay it's given here social forestry and agroforestry should be developed intense okay intensively by taking a plan plan step for the necessity of fodder and firewood there so social forestry societies of people one village two people must be involved in these activities and with okay with those people of a village we, there should be plant the trees nearby the barren land the forest as a barren land should be converted into a okay, forest land areas so this can be used for the fodder and firewood ke liye sab se use kar sakte hain now in place of firewood alternative options like a solar energy natural gas extra should be implemented so in order to make the process of a tree grow faster healthier infested trees should be removed infested trees jo kharab trees hai okay so they will use type of trees ko wahan se nikalna chahiye kaat dena chahiye so forest fire cause heavy damage of a forest so to the forest a separate system for or a forest or or a force at a national level should be created for dosing the fire so we should make a such kind of a system or administrative system this can be okay work on a forest fire separate system should be created with the use of a technology so person this disaster management okay this person related it should be okay given a good training to them to dose the fires and we should have the okay modern technology to dose the fire फायर को बुझाने के लिए नाउ नेक्स्ट नंबर ड्यू टू द इंक्रीज मीन्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन एंड इजी ट्रेवल हाउस फिल्क्रमिज रिच द रिलीजियस प्लेसेस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट एरियाज टू अटेंड दी भाड्रा फेयर सॉरी भंडारास एवं दर और फेयर अरे परिक्रमा सर्कुलर ट्रेवल्स है एट टाइम दिस लीटर शुड बी क्लियर properly otherwise the forests are polluted so some such kind of wanderers were held into the forest or face or any kind of a parikramas are there when it over there whatever the litter is just spread by the people it should be collected and should be okay a clean area those area should be clean there so we can reduce the pollutions into the forest now an area should be demarcated reserved for animals okay some area should be demarcated as a reserved area for animal pasturing in the forest describe what is given is describe various projects of wildlife protections wildlife protections various okay 
various projects are implemented by government of india for productions of uh, wildlife okay tiger projects one of it hai so due to unrestricted illegal hunting and okay, deforestation there was a big dangers for the existence of a tiger now in such circumstances the project to okay, project to save tiger was started in 1971 so tiger project was started in 1971 now another project a series of steps are taken to keep the natural habits protect and maintain ecological balance at a national level so main aims to protect the tiger their natural habitat where they are living in the forest so ecological balance should be created so tiger can survive there till now this project implemented in about 44 regions these are implemented in 44 regions in india second number elephant projects this project was started in 1992 for the productions of elephant so its main objective was to provide the elephant okay uh, protections and their natural habitats and to protect habitats and their migratory corridors so elephant migrates ek dusre jisse ke par migrate ho rahe the so uske corridor jo rasta hai it should also be maintained now they were today there are about 26 protection zone for elephant in the country and beside this project also worked for maintenance of a domesticated animals here now those domesticated elephants are there it should also be controlled and it should not be done there uske liye bhi ye elephant project kaam karta hai rhino project okay generally is for the one horn rhinos okay this project is started for the projections sorry for the protections of one horn rhinos of india as you can see in photographs in india most of the rhinos are found in assam state okay swampy region of brahmaputra river we found this rhinos some parts in west bengal ke andar bhi kahi bhi hai dekhne ke liye mil jate according to the strategy of rhino vision 2020 an increase in the number of rhinos is target at a 3000 okay as a vision they have decided 2020 tak rhinos ki jo strength hai wo 3000 tak karni hai now crocodile okay this species of alligators which is found in fresh water as was on the verge of existence in decade of 1917 so government of india took timely step to start this project crocodile now fifth the vulture project so vulture is a clean a uh, cleanliness worker of for natures okay it is considered a cleanliness of uh, birds in the natures it remove the dirt from a uh, and were made dirt from a nature the, generally they eat the meats of a dead animals there are about nine sub species of a vulture in india due to the unusual decrease in number of projects and this number of these vultures the project was started in 2004 for the vulture project for the productions of a vulture now six number snow leopards so this species which is found at the altitude of about 3000 meters in himalayas is Okay, lives in a snow only. It's snow के अंदर ही रहता है सिर्फ. This project was started in 2000 with the purpose to increase the knowledge about the snow leopards among the local people, so the people would be aware to protect it. So this project was implemented in 2000 for the protections of uh, this snow leopard and for the awareness of a uh, people who are living in this. areas so for the local people ke awareness ke liye bhi ye shuru kiya gaya tha snow leopard project now answer in beef is given here what is mean by bio reserve zone so what is the mean by bio reserve zone what is the meaning of bio reserve look at so it is formed according to international norms terms and conditions are there the purpose is to protect the physical and cultural diversities of and regions there so the main aim of this bio reserve is to protect the human being their cultures their language and this environment okay birds animals and all should be okay protected in the bio reserve not only for the animals or bird not for the thing it also include the cultures of a human beings there what the, the people live in besides the vegetations insects and lands of this area lifestyle of a people living there is also protected special arrangements are created for research 
and training about bio resources there so it also research is also carried out for the peoples okay for the life struggle of for people there how peoples are living there what the problem they are facing there for the protections of a certain uh, tribes or castes who live on those regions there so even the protection of uh, these birds and uh, okay animals there so was these areas are so average areas of such zone is larger than 5000 square kilometer average area jo hota hai okay inka 5000 se hi zyada hota hai square kilometer second number where would we find tigers in gujarat ka mil dete hai hame so tiger was seen in the forests of idar ambaji and data now tiger is totally extinct from uh, gujarat forest state the reason for forest destructions so due to the human interference forests are okay are decrease because of in, human intervention a greedy human being because of it forests are starting continuously decrease and deforestation is one of the main cause main reason so the over explorations of forests made by the main for his greedy motives such as road multi purpose projects mining minerals expansion of a new settlements or cities etc these are the reason for a forest destruction so forest lands area has been encroached for grass fuel or for grazing so slowly the forest lands area decreasing here fourth number write notes about the wildlife on the verge of extinctions how wildlife is on verge of extinctions here so today many wild animals in the world are on the verge of extinction the tigers were found throughout india during last centuries but tigers were seen in the forests of idar ambaji data today tigers are totally extinct from gujarat forest yes we know cheetahs is also becoming extinct in from indian forest indian forest ke andar aapko cheetah kahin nahi milenge ओके लेपर्ड और चीता के अंदर थोड़ा कन्फ्यूजन होता है और लेपर्ड मिलेगा आपको चीता के ही नहीं मिलेंगे सम ऑफ द बर्ड स्पीसीज लाइक अ वल्चर डक विथ पिंक थ्रॉट क्राइम एंड ओल्स ओके आउल्स दिस वर एक्सटिंक्शन इन द वर्ड ऑफ एक्सटिंक्शन थोड़े बच्चे विद नॉट केयर इट विल टोटल एक्सटिंग चिलोत्र बर्ड्स वंस वाइट स्प्रिंग अरुणाचल ओके ऑफ नॉर्थ ईस्ट इज नॉट सीन सो इजीली नाउ there is a danger of a survivor okay of survival to the alligator to the fresh waters of rivers of ganga and rivers dolphin ka bhi ek was of extinction if you not look at them now look at the number of sea turtles approaching the coast of odisha and gujarat is constantly decreasing water falls this is called the jal birari once found in frequently in narmada tapi mahi and sabarmati rivers Gujarat is almost extinct. Rarely you find this. Okay, so these are the information about it. Third number. Answer the following question in brief. What is there? What is meant by centuries? So wildlife centuries established for the production of some species. Okay, some species ke production ke isse established kiya tha. These centuries can be established by the government after a certain process. Certain process ke hisab se ab usko bana sakte ho. so human activities are permitted within certain limits human beings are okay all allowed to enter into the forest but certain limits are there domesticated animals can be allowed to graze after due permissions from the authority so if uh, those local people want to okay graze the animals in that in the this century first they need to take the uh, in uh, that permission prior permission is required to graze animals in the forest what is national park okay so this compared to the century this more protected zone and more than one ecosystem is included here there is a complete ban on animal grazing and it is not center around the one species like in a century but is number of more species are here it is established through the con- okay coordinating of a states and central government now third in which state the nal sarovar is located Okay, in which state Nal Sarovar is located in Gujarat state? Now look at here. What is given here? MCQs. Okay, need to answer the correct one. Okay, correct answer. कौन सा है वो आपको यहाँ से लिखना है. Look at here. Which wildlife is extinct from Gujarat? Gujarat के अंदर से कौन सा ही extinct हो गुरुगढ़ बियर दिखाई देता है. 
टाइगर इज एक्सटिंक्ट फ्रॉम गुजरात ओके फॉरेस्ट फॉर विच द लोकल सेल्फ इंस्टीट्यूशन लाइक ग्राम पंचायत म्यूनिसिपलिटी म्यूनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन है कंट्रोल उसको कौन सा फॉरेस्ट बोल देते हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड कलेक्टिव फॉरेस्ट ओके नेक्स्ट नंबर है हाउ मेनी स्पीसीज ऑफ एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड सीन इन द वर्ल्ड हाउ मेनी स्पीज ट्वेल्व नहीं है देखिए ट्वेंटी वन लाख भी नहीं है सो इस फिफ्टीन लाख हाउ मेनी इस फिफ्टीन जस्ट से कर ओके सो इस फिफ्टीन लाख इतना है क्या फिफ्टीन लैक्स इस करेक्ट आंसर हियर इस कलेक्टिव्स एंड इस टाइगर दिस आर द करेक्ट आंसर्स ओके ऑफ एमसी एमसीक्यूज के एक करेक्ट आंसर है Thank you. I hope this you like these videos. Okay. Make sure that your writing writing must be neat and clean there. And if you have still any queries, you can comment me related these videos or any other questions there. Yeah? Otherwise, if you have not subscribe subscribe this and channels, click on subscribe button to subscribe my channels. Once I upload the videos, you will get the notifications there. Yeah? And if you have any query, you can also send me an email on this address. Okay. Thank you. Jai Hind.